वेलकम टू आर पॉडकास्ट टेक कनेक्ट आई एम केशा सीनियर मार्केटिंग मैनेजर एट सिग्नेट टैक्सेशन हैज बीन अराउंड फॉर सेंचुरीज एंड हैज इवॉल्व ओवर टाइम विद सोशल कल्चरल एंड डेमोग्राफिक चेंजेस वॉट हैज चेंज्ड इन मैटर्स ऑफ टैक्सेशन इज द नेचर एंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ टैक्सेस द आई टी लैंडस्केप ग्लोबली हैज बिन इवॉल्विंग टू अड्रेस द चैलेंजेस इन फाइनेंस अकाउंटिंग एंड टैक्स ऑपरेशन सिंस द टाइम एंटरप्राइज रिसोर्स प्लानिंग और ई आर पी सिस्टम्स फर्स्ट अपियर the tax operations across the organizations are transforming from being a compliance function to influencing the business structure and decisions the emerging technologies have the potential to improve operating efficiency and cover the insights that can drive fact based decision making and change the value tax brings to the company's bottom line the organizations are moving from stand alone to connected tax systems with technologies like rpa blockchain integration and ipro automation using the data warehousing approach which is eventually the future of tax it is only a matter of time before we see these emerging technologies start supporting the tax function in making strategic decisions in tomorrow's tax world analytics would be a sink or not digital twins will complement manpower in the tax function and ai ml and blockchain would become the new normal let's hear it from mr neeraj hatasing Neeraj is the founder and MD of Signet Infotech has 3 plus decades of experience spread over diverse industries like IT manufacturing and chemicals he has started signet's growth towards digital engineering solutions provider as well as in the field of tax and finance his expertise is towards helping companies architect completely automated and futuristic tax tech solutions in the area of r2r p2p and o2c Hi sir welcome to the podcast here are some quick questions on tax technology so the first one is what are the trends that you see in tax technology these days and why is it critical the tax technology industry globally is in a very exciting stage the most important thing it's full of automation full of compliance challenges more and more of digitization and it is kind of moving at a very fast pace in terms of compliance in terms of data collections by the government authorities in terms of implementations of e invoicing in terms of implementing audit files for more kind of a investigative data analytics by the government is something which is happening on a scale of 10 the governments are ready by 7 to 8 and the industry still has to catch up by 3 to 4 and that is a kind of a major challenge which industry really needs to kind of cope with it automation digitization and compliance is the most critical part and if the focus from the industry is not on to that side they are going to face many many compliance challenges moving ahead so this is something which needs to be taken care by the industry absolutely the second is the world's leading consulting firm state the tax tech and fintech are the same or tax is a subset of the fintech industry what are your views on the same what tech tech and fintech are same that is a kind of a question people are asking us i would say that lot of fintech decision making is now dependent on the tax being collect yeah the tax information that is being taken care of it so that is a kind of a subset of the entire fintech ecosystem but if i say from a viewpoint of a kind of a industry from a corporate world viewpoint we have to deal with both of those things separately for a fintech industry or for banks or for kind of a finance companies the data that is coming at a granular level from the tech tech is very important in terms of analyzing a organization and i have been talking about since many many years that the lending should not be a collateral based lending it should be more on the strength of the business and that change is now coming because more data due to the tech tech implementation is available and that data is being used by the fintechs in terms of analyzing how good or a bad a company is and that granular level of data really helps the fintechs to kind of a giving out more and more loan so we are on a cusp of a transformation and the only thing i can compare this transformation is the type of transformation that is happening into the renewable energy space like lot of countries are talking about moving towards a 50% renewable energy maybe by 2030 india is also one of those countries 
and similarly i am seeing that the entire lending space will shift by 2030 more towards the business based lending and less towards the collateral based lending and this will only happen because the compliance data or the tax tech data is available and in countries like india where account aggregator frameworks and other frameworks are being created to facilitate the actual exchange of information between a taxpayer and a fintech and a secured exchange of information really makes a big difference in terms of ensuring that the fintech has the necessary data and they kind of are able to give the right kind of solutions to the taxpayers for their business needs. So the third question is, what is the tax strategy that drives a business to a sustainable world? First and foremost, there has to be a change of mindset. I was with one of the kind of tax professionals from a very large global oil giant. And I have been visiting them for many years now. And the interactions were always going into it. That our ecosystem, our kind of a data security requirements, our ERP implementation does not allow us to make any changes into our ecosystem to ensure that we can be more compliant. The compliance was actually manpower dependent. The compliance was absolutely consultant dependent. But the yesterday's interaction was very different, very unique. And the amount of notices that they are answering today kind of brought in that particular difference. They said, we have to comply. And it is more important that we comply before we kind of accept those transactions into our kind of ecosystem. So this change of mindset is very important. And this change of mindset is now visible with more and more tax professionals. Adapting technology. And without adapting technology, this change will not come in. I had another interesting kind of a conversation with a steel manufacturer or one of the largest steel producers globally. And what they said is that now compliance is more about technology than about kind of a managed services or kind of going towards the consultant route. And this is again a kind of a change. The mindset is that we do not want to take any chances with the compliance and we want to ensure that we are compliant from day one. What I have been talking to the tax professionals across the globe that you have multiple mandates. The first mandate is you need to clear the mess that has happened up till now. The second mandate is you ensure enough automation and enough compliance safeguards are built into your system that no new challenges are being created. And third and most important, what I have been talking to multiple CFOs, that there should be zero data entry into the entire organization. And when I kind of say this, people literally laugh at me. How is it possible that it could be zero data entry? But that is possible. Organizations have achieved it and organizations can achieve it. And if we kind of strive to reach this particular goal, we will ensure that the complete compliance is in place. The digitization is done completely. The people who are responsible for compliance will breathe a sigh of relief and they will be able to ensure that things are in place. Less number of notices from the government agencies, maybe kind of a more intelligent work around it and many multiple benefits will come if we kind of go towards the right kind of digitization. So here's the last one. Do you see a future where crypto will be accepted globally for tax payments? I don't see there is a mindset in terms of global kind of uh, companies or countries in using crypto for tax payments. A very interesting question. But I don't see crypto being used for tax payments to now. Yes, more and more maybe kind of a new kind of credit instruments, credit cards, and multiple different instruments will come in play to take uh, pay taxes because not paying taxes on time is highly highly kind of a, what you call this inefficient in terms of your finances so it is important that you pay your taxes on time and many more instruments will come in to help that i don't think so crypto is anywhere into that particular conversation as on today Definitely, I'm sure that tax technology impacts many aspects of a company's operations. Big data, analytics, AI, ML, IoT, mobility, 
cloud computing are all in play. It is only a matter of time when the use of these technologies will become more evident in the day-to-day -day tax operations and sooner we start. Better would be the ROI. We shall soon come up with interesting topics for our next podcast as well. So stay tuned.